so humbled to to know you i'm so humbled to to know the person that you are i think we don't see you every day yeah. but then you are one of the most authentic people that i've met in my life you know what when i first met you when i saw you outside i was like okay you, you know when you're searching you you hear about this guy and you keep on searching is my son talking nonsense that this guy has got a podcast until a day that I was passing and you were recording here mm. I was I parked my car outside so I was walking down then I see you so I'm like oh, okay maybe it does take reviews or anything but it's always been in Africa or in this part of South Africa podcasts haven't really hit the ground running people don't understand what podcasting is and then next door to you there's a gold mine basically that's <laughs> That's how I viewed you when I saw you. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You're not a quiet guy. No, I'm not a quiet yes, guy. When someone sees you, they just think, no, no. Ah, no, hey, James is chill. <laughs> but then when you get to know you, you're not yeah, a quiet yeah, guy. I'm not, I'm not a quiet Cause guy. Because a lot of times when someone is quiet, you look, it's sort of like they're scared to make conversation. Yeah, That's yeah. not you. No, no, no. So no. you're a bit of both worlds. I don't care what happens. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. You see when you come, say, yeah, let's do it. Let's is do it, it right? <laughs> <laughs> you know when when we when we record our podcast we we start you know just to get yourself let's let's get your mind into it and all that yeah. and yeah you are like okay we can start and I'm like I haven't even seen him press record I haven't seen him <laughs> and you're ready into it. it yeah that's me I'm like always ready yeah let's go yeah what that's made me. you start YouTube though uh, I was or in podcast. Israel I was in Israel and um, I'm still in Israel. Yeah because my my Your left location. hand is in Israel my right hand is in, in South Africa that's right so i'm still in Israel so uh it came into mind because i'm a christian okay so i i monitored how they do things in my country Ghana and i'm like okay let me give them education on this because based on the bible we said israel 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 mm. and then i am in israel So what's happening in Israel? Let me and tell you. There's them. a lot of war and everything. You understand? So that's how this whole thing started. Okay. Then I'm like, okay, let me ed- educate them back home. Mm. What is happening real on grounds in Israel? Okay. Okay. That's how it started. Anyway, you spoke about being a Christian and uh, the last time that you gave me a topic, I want to be honest, but I was t- I was scared. <laughs> You were scared? I was scared. What was the topic? I even said to my wife that, what do I say? You, you know, when, you, when someone gives you a topic on Christianity, and even with my channel, with my wife, yes, we talk about God, but I'm not saying that I'm a master of Christianity. I know it all. Okay. Or I am, uh, geez, I've studied the Bible, and geez, uh, I know God in and out. I don't think anyone can ever get to a point where they say, Ah uh, now I'm good with God. Now I am I, I'm strong in that sense. So I I, I begged away because mm. I was like even when I told my wife I'm like this is the topic that James has told me about prophets and Christianity. I was like yes sir. What do I start? Where do I start? <laughs> But the one thing that I can just put in with regards to Christianity and prophets is mm-hmm. I believe that prophecy is meant to help you not to embarrass you. So if I come to you and I say James um you were you were unfaithful in front of your wife is that prophecy building you or is destroying you is it from God according to the bible it says we should build our own personal relationship with God yeah. that is what the bible says yeah so if I build my own personal relationship with God and God want to deliver message to me mm. he will never search for you he will search for me definitely This is my I case. agree. This is my case. Yeah. I, I I agree with that because let me give you an example. We went to to church um a few months ago and when we get the there's a prophet, right? And the prophet starts speaking out people. You James, you got this 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 which was good. He was not embarrassing, right? But you got to a point where by like no man lot. Why is it every time I go to a church that is prophetic, the prophet never sees me? never says anything about me does it mean that there is nothing that you want to say to me because everyone I, to a certain degree everyone wants to hear what their future holds or whether they're doing the right the thing the moment to get that idea because it's, it's uh, automatically you are not going to church because of salvation you see now 
you are going there because you and want you know what god said to me immediately as i was starting to complain and started having that heart that no man the change is almost over it's literally five minutes until change is done mm-hmm. and there's and there and pick me he's walking past me and all that and god said to me my word in the bible is prophetic enough for you so if god says according to jeremiah 29:11 he knows the plans that he has for me that is already a prophetic word so like you are saying the moment i now go to church because i want the pastor or the prophet to point me and tell me that my business is going to thrive when i'm not putting anything in my business then it's a different case you altogether i'm going to fail because i'm waiting for another man to say to me i'm doing the right thing don't i know that i'm doing the right thing you see i don't sleep you know mm. yes I'm, i'm always working you work bro okay so 24/7 yeah i'm working Yeah because the bible said the hand that does not work does not make money you see i work 24/7 mm. this is not prophetic yeah <laughs> this is logic it is logic <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> if you <laughs> don't work for your money money is not gonna come <laughs> yes yeah so so now the case here is um these people are comparing themselves to someone elijah um i don't know the prophets in the bible they are comparing themselves to them to them. Mm. But you have to look into the Bible and then check the life of Samuel. Check the lifestyle of Ezekiel, mm. whatever. Mm. And then compare it to those ones. And then you can understand the whole story. If their lives does not depict that of those in the I Bible. I don't remember in the Bible mm-hmm. um prophet Elijah walking into a congregation or walking into a city with 20 bodyguards okay so this is the case now mm-hmm. so this prophets they say they are prophets yeah if you talk about elijah mm-hmm. elijah never had a church no paul never had a church <laughs> so yeah this is the problem now yeah mm-hmm. and then we are building our personal relationship with god yes jesus never filled us Yes. He said, I will not leave you as orphans. I'm leaving you with the Holy Spirit. Case close. Yes. He never said I'm leaving you with prophet. No. <laughs> I'm leaving you with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. <laughs> He never said I'll leave you with the pastor. No. Case close. <laughs> Case close. The church does not take you to heaven. Case close. It doesn't. Yeah. Case close. So if you have the Holy Spirit, mm. you don't need a prophet. No. You don't. You need Holy yes. Spirit. Case close. That's it. Because the Holy Spirit is what is your helper. Case close. If you are in trouble the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit is your helper. Yes, close. If you in need of wisdom the Holy Spirit yes, is close. your helper. If you are in need of any assistance the Holy Spirit is there not your pastor. Then it brings me to the point that why are churches just birthing churches literally left right and center? It's my church I'm planting another church there I'm planting another church there I'm planting another church there. We are making it as a multiple of business. Is that biblical? Because Paul yes planted churches, but he was not in charge of those churches. Isn't it? I I stand to be correct. No no no. Um I know I know people I mean they they know what I'm capable of saying. I know. You are the church, okay? Yes. God never said he lives no. in building. No. He said he lives in you. You are the church. You yes. are the church. Yeah. For instance, when there was coronavirus, mm. you never seen your pastor yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But you survived. Yes. By what? Grace of God. And then the also praying with who? Yes. You pray with your family. Yes. Mm. Say where two or three mm. are I gathered in my name. There. I am there. I am there. What's your problem now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why then do we make someone that doesn't go to church feel like they are not Christian enough? And and then christians also are saying we shouldn't judge we should leave everything that they yes. do yes. but you are judging now yeah you're judging now because <laughs> the moment i look at james and say james you don't go to church so that means you are sinning you where am i to say you are sinning that now listen <laughs> this church goers okay they are going to church because they have nice clothes nice shoes a car, nice car nice car i just bought a new car so okay. they must say okay and then they want to go and communicate they want to go and then listen to their lifestyle from somebody so they are all babalaos mm. okay babalaos with kosho okay babalaos with suit mm. okay 
So because of that, that is why most of these so-called Christians go to church to listen to what is in the future from somebody who calls himself a prophet, seeing what is in the future. How is that you saying in the future when you're telling me that I've got green pepper in my fridge? Though? And people are actually going there. You understand? And say, yo, yeah, go deeper. Papa. Let's say, I see, ah, I, I know your name. You are called maybe... Yes. Um, Tatenda. Tatenda. Yeah. You have got an uncle that died uh, 20 uh, years ago or 30 years I, ago. I said that. Mm. Are you not Tatenda? I am. What is the surprise of this? What's the, yeah. You are Tatena? Yes. Okay, so what? What's, what, what's, what's the surprising <laughs> fact about that? You are Tatena. How is that a prophecy? <laughs> yeah. You are Tatena. Mm. If he says, ah, you are Tatena, in the next three months, you'll be called Papa. Then That's the it. next three months, you change your passport, you are Papa. Papa. Then it's a prophecy. Then it's a prophecy. <laughs> yes. You are still Tatena. Besides, you can't <laughs> prophesy me and say, I've got an uncle that died. Who does not have an uncle? Of all the viewers right now, who doesn't have an uncle that died? So if I say your uncle died, you're like, oh, Jesus is a good prophet. You understand? So, That's what we say. So we, uh, some, I wouldn't say we, some give these guys uh, this protocol to control their lives, to yeah. tell them what's happening. Yeah. Now I have to go to my pastor to tell them that we're trying for a baby, pastor. No, 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 you're not ready now. No, no, you, you start trying next month. That's what we're doing to them. I don't have time for that. I will take that time. Talk to my God because I have a personal relationship with my God. Yeah. And then he give me directions and then I sleep. Case closed. If yeah, I want know. somebody to pray for me, mm. I will ask my wife to put the hand on my the forehead. Bi the Bible says, let they put, uh, put hands on the sick and the sick shall be healed. Mm -hmm. Not because of my hand. You understand? But because of the Holy Spirit that is speaking through, through me, you. then when I touch you and you have faith that you're going to be mm -hmm. healed, you will be healed. You understand? So I don't need to call my pastor. I think my wife and I have one of, been one of those um, church congregants that even when things are bad, we'll never call. Other Christians, the first thing that they do, Papa, uh, life is bad. Please pray for us. We can pray for one another. We can pray with each other and God still responds and God still answers our prayers. So I think as Christians, we've been made to be like puppets. Mm -hmm. Be told to go left, be told to go right, be told to do this, do if that. If life is hard for me, it's not the fault of Jesus Christ. No. It's not the fault of God. No. It's my fault. Yeah. I can or, sell this TV. Yes. This TV can rent this apartment for mm. more than six, seven yeah. months. You see? Sell it. Yes. Live life. Why my are you wife, wasting your my time? My wife always says, we are in a position to downgrade. If you feel like you can't afford it, go back. Live in a one room. Why are you yeah. disturbing God? Yeah. You are disturbing Where God. Where is God in my finances? <laughs> if, if clearly I cannot afford it, I can take a taxi. Yes. If I can't afford the shoes, I can wear slippers. If I buy a car now, I always go out like once a week. What am I using? You don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> you get my point. Yeah. God has nothing to it's do with nothing it. Nothing to do with it. Nothing. Nothing. He did nothing wrong. Nothing. Nothing. We caused it. Yes. We must fix it. Yeah. Once you are responsible for your failure. It's easy to fix it. You know, it's just like there's, there's something. My wife and I had uh, a bit of problems uh, last year or the year before, right? And she said something powerful, and I don't think she remembers what mm. she said. She said, in the midst of us fighting, she kept on looking at me as the one that was smashing her up, the one that is betrayed her, the one that is screwed her up, everything, point, point, point. She says, until she got to a point whereby she was like, what was my part? in this whole mess. Mm. That's when true breakthrough now comes through. Instead of saying, God, why, 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 why? The moment you start thinking, what part did I play in me being in this position? Mm -hmm. It now comes back to you. Yeah. And I still remember I was talking to one of the ladies from our previous church, and uh, she's been on separation with her husband for I think, two, three, four years now. So she says to me, Pastor Moyo, uh, he's admitted that he's got a girlfriend. So I'm like, you've been separated for four years. Are you surprised that he's dating someone else? No, but then in the same breath, 
he, uh, why, why is it so hard for me to move on? And I'm like, could it be that the problem is with you? No, but you can't say that. I pray, I fast, I do everything that the Bible tells me. And I'm like, but in your relationship with your husband, what part did you play for him to leave? The moment you can answer that about yourself, that's when you're going to get um, a breakthrough into the answers of what God is saying in our lives. Mm -hmm. And that is prophecy on its own. Mm -hmm. What am I doing to make sure that I, I remain where I want to be on the high? If it's the high, what do I have to do to make sure that I stay there? And if I am low, what did I do to be here? Because I want to go back up there. And that's, that's basically what Christianity is all about. But then it is a dangerous spot to then make people kind of feel like if I don't pray for you, if I don't lay hands on you, or if I don't come to your church, then nothing of you is going to work out. You see? And I've heard that a lot of times. When this lady fell from third floor, Yes. To this floor. Yeah. Did we ask, are you a Christian? Or are you a Muslim? <laughs> or are you a traditionalist? We just went and helped. Case closed. Mm. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Regardless whether she believes or she doesn't, <laughs> it's none of our business. She's a human being at the end of the day. You understand? Mm. This is life. Yeah. You understand? I went there. I was calling the ambulances. Yeah. Like, I was worried. And like worried I know. Well, I don't right? even know your yes. name. You don't. Yes. <laughs> this is what's happening here. Exactly. There is a woman that needs help, and <laughs> you don't even talk name. to them. We don't. No. I don't talk to the guys. Maybe I meet her once and whatever. Hello. That's. I've it. never seen her before. Well, I'm always inside. You see, I've seen the husband <laughs> maybe once or twice. The kids play with Alake, but other than that, that's it. I don't know. So what is all this? I think I've met her what once. Is all this? Yes. So what is all this uh, hassle? Let's think about us. Yeah. You understand? Fix your relationship with God because that's the only way you're going to see heaven. That's if, the only way you're going to see the promises If the of woman God. who helped this lady to survive, the one who was present That there, lady, yes. The nurse or whatever. The, the woman will come from hospital mm. and then I, I want to talk to this woman, the one who helped me when I was... Oh wow! And then I, I'm saying. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And then we're like, Ash, thank you for helping me out. Ish, where do you go to church? Mm. And say, I go to church. He say, Ish, I want to follow I want with to you because of what? Because what you did. Because <laughs> what you did. She could have just said, "Okay, guys, come here. Let's pray. Let's pray for her. <laughs> let's let's pray." Yeah. That is that is preaching. That is salvation. Actions. You understand? Actions. Action. That's what happened when the, the poor guy was laying on the floor and then the Jews passed by, this passed by, yeah. and then the business. No one cared, yes. This is what I'm talking about. So we should first think about ourselves. Build the personal relationship with our God. Our God, yes. Know our God. If you know your God, it's easy to talk to your God. You know, it's, it's just the same thing in a marriage. In as much as my wife and I pray together, that's not enough. Mm. Me and her have to have our own personal relationships with God. Yeah. Prayer time must not only be when we are holding hands. Mm -hmm. And my wife said that powerful statement as well, where she said, in as much as, yes, we say we've got our own prayer time as a couple, which is good. It's very good for couples to pray together. But also husband and God, wife and God. The more we are closer to God, the more we're getting closer to one another. Because if I've got a very good relationship with God, there is no way that I'm going to be intentional about hurting my partner. You and your wife are one. Yeah. If you want the real anointing, mm. ask your wife to pray for you. Kiss close. Wow. Baby, you need to pray for me. Eh? <laughs> she okay. needs to put the hand mm. on you and pray for you. You are successful. If she's angry, you never make money. Never. Never. If she's happy, and things will go you bad. make money. Things will go bad. They are our things, God. Things will go bad. Please close. Have you noticed that a lot of times you are, you are married, right? Or you see a married couple. The day they divorce, that's the day everything just... It's case close. <laughs> you look at them a year later, you're like, geez, <laughs> things are not happening. <laughs> yeah. So for you to waste your time, go pay money to a prophet, whatever. They are the, you have the prophet already. It's there already. You don't waste your yes. time. It's there already. Ask them to bless you. Yeah. 
and you are good to we, go. We think as men sometimes we think that we are we are clever. <laughs> they are our god. They know. My father once told me, mm. if you want to live long life, all your property, mm. just tell your wife is for you. Wow. You will live long. You live long. Because he knows whether you are dead or alive is for her. So you will live long. <laughs> 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 so it's yours baby yeah it's, it's yours. yours it's yours <laughs> when I, i'm you working are, it's yours when you are dead mm. or alive it's yours it's, so you you it's will live long mm. it's yours <laughs> don't waste your time but but, but then, yes we are laughing about it but in hindsight it just shows you that if you honor your wife your days on earth you yeah, will be numbered be, will they be, brought yeah. us on earth yes they can they take us back to earth they have, to, they to have a womb yes They will that's, take why, us back. that's why someone made a statement and said the thing with the wife you give her a house she makes it a home mm-hmm. you give her groceries she makes food you give her children she makes a family right you sleep with her she makes a family because that's who they are they are builders they they are the boss mm. Kiss boss close. yeah Kiss close. Yeah. Sleep. Gents, treat your wives right. Case close. I, I don't think we can stress that enough. And a lot of times I've seen a lot of husbands that, uh, sorry, a lot of husbands that disrespect their wives. This whole thing of you start bad-mouthing your wife with your family or you start bad-mouthing your wife with your colleagues and whatnot, that is not a blessing at all. Mm-hmm. You're, not, you're not being wise when you're doing that. A good man always stands for his wife because the wife... I've seen a lot of times, especially with, with Africans, where when the husband dies, everyone rushes to say the wife killed the husband. Why would I kill my soulmate? Why would I kill my partner? Mm, for what? Two is better than one. Done. In case blues. <laughs> sure. If you want real blessings, it's from them. Mm, mm. Case close. Mm. You don't need a pastor. You don't need any prophet. The prophet is there in your house. In your house. Let it have finished it. Mm. You finish it. Happy wife. Yeah. Happy finish. life. <laughs> <laughs> you finish it. Yeah, so that is yeah. me. So most of people don't most of them they think maybe I hate Christianity. Most of the but once they they talk to me and then I okay now I get it. You know it's a logic thing, you know. It's a logic thing. You need to understand. Yeah. Yeah. You understand yeah. because I believe where two or three people are gathered, he is there. He is there. Yes. So because If you're talking that, about God, he is there. Yes. Yes. He is there. That's why he said when two or three, three people are, are gathered in, yeah, in my, my name. name. Meaning you yes. can even go to a church gathered with trillions of people. He is not there. Because it's not in his name. Case But close. we just assume because it's a church, I see his name. Yeah. So is is so it? that that means you and I can actually hold a church service like this and this. Very house. easy. Yeah. Very easy. A, ch- a full-on church service with praise and worship. Everything. With, with everything. Everything. Sharing of the word, teaching the of the word. The collection you give it after the offering, everything. Give it to the... To the poor or whatever. No, no, no. Yes. You are the pastor. I am the pastor. Mm. My wife is the mm. pastor's wife. Mm. After the celebration, whatever, the collection goes to the pastor's wife. Mm. You go and bring food to the house again. The eat. Just <laughs> eat. The eat. That's Just the eat. church. Yes. But the reason why that is not going to be encouraged is because churches are buildings are making money off of the giving. Oh, you understand? That's why even when you talk about the tithe, what is so wrong about me taking my tithe and buying a widow groceries or buying someone that is, that, uh, that is poor and orphan or whatever, or people that are in the streets. You see these guys that are always in the streets. What is so wrong about me taking my 10% and say, Lord, thank you for the income that you've put in this house. You gave us $100. Here is $10. We're going to go and buy groceries and feed those guys. That is blessing. The Bible said, I, my, I the Lord. Mm. Anyone who takes care of the poor, the widow, the orphan, I, the Lord, will never remove my eyes on you. On you. So what's your problem? Yes. But what do we say now as a church? We say, no, 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 no. Um, give into the storehouse where you are being fed. The storehouse was food. Mm. Why is it cash? Yeah. Why is it cash? Why? It if if what's the point of me taking my tithe 
and I pass a guy that is right by the corner there, and it's in June, it's very cold, they don't even have shoes, they don't have clothes, nothing. And I'm taking my money, that $10, to go to church and just drop it into a building that has got full air conditioning, good seats and everything. And we say, we are doing things according to God. You just save a life. You did. You needed 10 ren mm. to eat. Yes. You save a life. Yeah. How many times have you gone outside and something prompts you, the Holy Spirit prompts you, you've got 20 rand in your pocket or $20 in your pocket, and you just say, no, let me give this car guard. I the way, do. The way the guy just goes, thank you so much. I At always do. Sometimes I go into the mall, they want to pay. And then okay. I see they are struggling. Yes, right. I know. Yes, and you can see. I know they are lying. Yeah. I know yes. they are lying. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, take it's this fine. card. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, yo, and I say, okay, peace. Sure. Case closed. Yeah. We're done. But then, at the, in the same breath, you are not doing that because they want you want them to see you as wow, no, this no, guy's no, no, amazing. No. You you can see it. there's a lady that I once paid for. I was in Florida somewhere, and it was in Shoprite, and not because she was trying to go look for attention. She had a 2 kg of milli meal and um, a little bit of uh, purity water for the kid. Mm. You could see that she wants to buy for the kid. She's at 5 rand, 20 rand, like, you know, understand? And yo, she's scratching to get mm. that bill. I said, no, I'll do that. And to me, it was like, thank you, Lord, that I was able to be God to someone. in another person's life. Instead of me saying, oh, may God bless you, my sister. Hey, God will provide. We, we are yeah. God. Yes. You are be, God. Be blessed to be a blessing. You are God. I am God. Yeah. The one who saved a life. You saw it. Yes. Life. Yeah. She is her God. Yes. We are God. Yeah. So prove your God living in, in you. Yes. To one another. Because remember, we were, we, we were made out of the image of God. Case closed. Christ lives in me. I am who, say, who Christ says I am. Yes. So if I come to James and I say, I'm going to pray for you, when James is saying, I'm hungry, I don't have food in my house, I haven't had anything to buy, my children are hungry, everything, we don't have a place to stay, and I come to, 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 to James and say, let's pray. That's not helping the cause. You are wasting but if, time. But if I bring a bit of groceries and say, James, this is all we have. We don't have much. We just took from our house. But here, and let's pray. That's what Jesus said when I was lying on the sick bed. In you the left back. me. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> everything is biblical. Yeah. And Christianity is just very simple, easy, and loving mm. kind of. It's not a religion. It's a lifestyle anyway. It's a lifestyle, yes. Okay. So, because of that, if you follow the lifestyle, it's easy for you to get to your destination. Mm. Because it says, seek ye the kingdom and its righteousness first, and the rest will be added unto you. Amen. Okay, so because of that, you are not seeking the, uh, the, the righteousness first. You understand? You are seeking for the rest. That is why you are looking for pastors. We're, go we're going in front before we start the seeking. You understand? Yeah. So, anybody who sees a pastor or a prophet to do something for him or her, is paying bribe through the pastor to sure. God. So when you get scammed by a pastor, don't talk about it. You are a scammer. You wanted to scam God. Mm. Then you got scammed. Case closed. Mm. Yes. You wanted to scam God. Because <laughs> it's sort of like I'm finding I'm finding a loophole in the algorithm to make sure that I get a blessing. Yeah, Given right. shall be given unto you. So bring all your salary to church mm -hmm. and you're going to see. Nobody on or in, in South Africa. Can pay ten percent. You know what is ten percent of your salary? Yo, brah. Nobody will pay. Brah. <laughs> it's so stop. Brah. You can't pay. Brah. Nobody. No one can. Ten percent. Because if we now, everyone is. Someone once asked, Pastor. So when we paying ten percent, ten percent of what? Of what I take home, or of my total Nobody earnings before I get deducted, tax deducted. Um, you are F deduction. You can't pay. 10%. You, 10%. <laughs> Nobody can pay. That means we are all lying to ourselves. That is even, you are, it's, it's dangerous. Don't do it. You can pay. How Don't can you pay it. 10%? Don't do it. 10% of your salary. Of all your earnings. You can't. Everything. You can't. Everything. You can't. You understand? And then Makisedek pays this to Abraham. 
Uh, Abraham paid this to Melchizedek. Yeah. When Mekis, uh, Abraham came from a war, and then Abraham went to Melchizedek. Uh, sorry, Melchizedek went, uh, came to Abraham mm. to cleanse him. Yes. And then Abraham, when Melchizedek was going, he was like, oh, okay, my guy, you're done. Mm. Uh, can you give him 10% of days? Mm. This was so in appreciation. Mm. Appreciation. Appreciation from uh, mm. Abraham. Yeah. What does that got to do with me? Did I come from a war? Yes. Did I come from a war? Did I? No. So what does Abraham make? Uh, appreciation so, has so, to do with so in other words we're trying to say the same thing with the story of the the blind man where jesus spit into the ground mm -hmm. and made mud and put in his mouth in his eye and mm -hmm. he was saying i can now go ahead and spit on the ground and go no no, no. you're gonna see you can't do it mm. you understand you can't see it's because Melchizedek was still living when abraham came from the war mm. but nowhere in the bible that abraham paid Melchizedek every month it was a once of appreciation. So, so what's your problem now? Now it's a David order. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a David order. So what's but your problem churches now? will fight you for that statement. But they should prove it with the Bible. Yeah. They will fight you <laughs> teeth and nail. The tithe must come to the church bank account. And this church bank account did, Ab did, did Abraham pay with, Did Abraham pay with cash or food stuff? Food stuff. Then they tell you that no, it's in the olden days. Okay. Cash wasn't. Uh, That's what relevant. I'm saying. So, so this Titan thing is robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, it's robbing <laughs> Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, we may try and deny it, but it's really robbing true. Robbing Peter to pay, yes, Paul. to pay Paul. Either way. Because it never yeah. happened in the Bible. Jesus never paid tight. Uh, uh, whatever. I mean, the 12 disciples, they never paid they tight. Never. They pay tax. Mm. Tax. To the extent that Jesus yes. even went to the yes. fish to yes. bring tithe to money. To, 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 to pay tax. tax. Yes. Oh, what is all this? We are... That's why it's so important that your relationship with God is very intact. It's very important. Because very important. you're going to find out that most churches, they're not even going to see heaven. No, 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 no. They won't. Because the according to the revelation, saying, yeah. according to revelation, mm. heaven is not for Christians. Heaven is for righteous people. Righteous. There is a difference between a righteous person and a, and Christian. a Christian. So yeah. heaven is, does not belong to Christians. Mm. It belongs it's to righteous, righteous people. <laughs> you have to be righteous. <laughs> you understand? And that's why we say it's a lifestyle. So you it's can't say that, oh, I'm the righteousness of God. I'm amazing. No, 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 you, no. that's how you're supposed to be. Heaven you want us to clap hands for you for, being a, for, for breathing. There can be a Muslim mm. being a righteous person. Be you righteous. You can be, be a Sangoma. Accept, be Jesus, accept Jesus as a personal, personal Lord savior. and Savior. That is, that and is Christian life. Yes. That is Christian life. Mm. But and there's, understand. There are seven, seven pillars in heaven. And according to Revelation, every pillar represents its own, uh, let's say, belief or whatever. Mm. Jesus is our pillar in heaven. Sure. So we Christians, we are going through heaven through Jesus Christ. Yes. What happens to the six pillars? Who are those pillars Who representing? Are those sure. Sure. Yeah, relationship with God. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, I speak deep because I know you understand? And then I know the scriptures. Mm. And I know, that's why I'm peace with everybody. According to the Bible, it says, if it's possible, live peace peacefully with, with everyone. everyone. With everyone. Or no man any dead except <laughs> love. Case closed. Mm. Love. <laughs> that's a relationship with God. That's what I'm talking about. James, you've been amazing, bro. This has been amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is, you know, I'm taking from this conversation the fact that my wife praying for me. Yes, I knew my wife prayed for me. Yeah, it's very important. But there's so much importance in a wife laying hands on their husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, I've, I've the only up person I will allow night. him or her to touch, to, my, head. To touch my head, my wife. my wife. Yes. Nobody. Nobody else can touch my head. Mm. Nobody. Mm. Because the hands... That touches you. You don't know where it's coming from. It's coming from. According to the Bible, it says, when you raise up your hands to me, Lord, I see blood on your hands. And because Yo. of that, I hide my face 
of you. Because you got blood on your hands. So the hand that touches you, you must know where that hand is coming from. And you don't know. You don't so know. So don't. So just don't accept it. At least it. you trust your wife. Mm. <laughs> yes. Unless you say you don't trust your wife. That's a different story. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Of because which, that's already a different subject altogether. Yes. Altogether? Yes. Because I can be a Christian or I can be a prophet or whatever. Mm. And I am touching you. I'm healing you. I'm telling you a whole lot of stories. But you don't know what I'm what hiding power, in my closet. What power are you using to heal me? Because you hear them even on interviews. I want to thank God. Which God? Which God? He said, oh, wow. Did you see that celebrity? Said they said God. You Which never, God? He said nothing. Which God? Which God? Yes. There are a lot of God. Which God? Which God? Yes. This can be my yes. God. Yeah. I would like to thank my God because I've got amazing contacts here. So which, which God? God? So I have a relationship with your God. That's why I say when two or three people are gathered in, in my name, not just gathered, not just two or three are gathered <laughs> in my name. Ah, dude, amazing, <laughs> amazing, my brother. Let's let let's let's keep on <laughs> let's keep on with the relationship with God. Yeah, yeah. And also understanding that as gents as well. Mm. There's so much importance in men coming together and saying, let us be strong men that can, that love our women. Yeah. Men that respect our women, men that provide for our families. The amount of gents out there that don't even care what the children have eaten, or you just go around and having children everywhere. It's sad. The, the home affairs in South Africa said 65%, I stand to be corrected, 65% of Bad certificates. They don't have a father's name on them. Mm -hmm. That's not right. I even asked one South African, he was like, um, they are taking care of them. And then I asked how much. I said, 300 or 400. Yeah. And I said, I eat, I, I eat 300 or 400 a day. It's less than a plastic. Just if you, if you go to the shop, 300 rand is nothing. So because of yes. 300 Yeah. 300, yeah. 300 <laughs> that 350 doesn't even fill up. The plastic is a snack. We buy snack for Alake for cricket. It's probably a thousand bucks. So, yeah. I don't know. So, he was like, okay. So, he said, I give five kids and then I can get 300 times five. So, okay. That 300 times five, I Still. use it to fill my fridge, yes. my deep freezer. For one week or two weeks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so, what's the problem? They need to think so outside gents, the boss. Gents, we need to change. We need to change the narrative in Africa because a lot of times they say, Africa is the only uh, continent where there is a high rampant numbers of single mothers. Mm -hmm. That's not right. Every man, that's why when we were growing up, when you see a kid in the street, that's your child. Yeah. That's why it was so difficult to be kissing a girl in the streets because if you see an older person coming through You'll and like, they hit you, if they beat you and you go home and say, Brother James beat me, the mom's going to hit you again and say, let's go to Brother James. Why did he beat you? Mm -hmm. And you're going to get another beating again. That is Africa. Yes. We always take care of exactly. ourselves. Yeah. Exactly. Let's, let's be those kind of men. Mm -hmm. If that happens, we're not going to get rape. <laughs> Love and yes. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah. Amazing, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Awesome. So you can put out your YouTube channel in case somebody want to follow you. I awesome stuff. My, my name is Tatenda and my wife and I have got a YouTube channel. It's called Faith Foundations. So Faith um, foundations. It's a podcast that my wife and I run, and my wife's name is Pumza. Then we've got another one that's called Calm. Yes, yes. What is it called? No, what about the, the other one it's talking about uh, mental health? Mental health. Yes, what it's uh, Calm Calm Minds. Is it Calm Minds? No, no, what it's not it? Calm Minds. No, it's. <laughs> We couldn't find it. Yeah, every time everyone, someone wants to to, to search for it, it we couldn't find it. It was healing. No, 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 I know about yes. the healing heart. Yeah, no? yeah. They, search for it, it doesn't they show. couldn't find it. But anyway, James is going to link it up. So <laughs> as I'm speaking, the second one is gonna pop up on the top as a as a as a link, or otherwise in the description down below. Please, um, we always say with the faith foundations, 
we are building an army for God. And when we speak about the word of God, it doesn't necessarily mean that we are the best at what we do. It just means we are being vessels to be used to spread the good news. And as you share our content as well, or as you come onto the family, that's how we're also building an audience for you and for your people, for your family and whatnot. And I just want to thank my brother here. Um, thank you, bro. You're welcome. Thank you for, welcome. Thank you for being an amazing neighbor. And thank more than anything, just knowing the person that you are 